Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some of the new facts and details to come straight out of the latest New Horizons TV commercials. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as the days go by now, leading up to the New Horizons release, we seem to be discovering something new every day, whether it's new characters or tiny little details here and there that we may have missed along the way. Of course, just yesterday, Nintendo released three brand new commercials, each showing off different aspects of the game, whether it's designing the outside of an island or crafting a perfect pattern for the interior of your home. With this in mind, I've collected some of my favorite details directly from these commercials in an attempt to keep you guys up to date with the latest goings on. So here are 30 facts and details you may have missed. Number 1. Tin cans that you fish out of the sea or rivers now have a use and can be crafted into pot plants and placed on tables. This is pretty neat and I'm super glad pretty much everything will have a use now. Number 2. We can place larger items on stools, including musical instruments. We've seen smaller items such as cups and other drinks placed on benches and stools in earlier gameplay, but it's pretty cool to see this again and definitely shows we have complete control over our layouts. Number 3. The infamous raccoon figurine, also referred to as a tanuki statue, is returning to New Horizons. This item resembles a Japanese raccoon dog and is said to bring fortune and luck. You may notice some similarities to a certain getaway package provider. Number 4. Fences can be laid and constructed on beaches. Personally, I think this is a super cool feature. In past games, beaches have been pretty restrictive really, and it's awesome to see we can finally treat them pretty much like any other area on our island. Number five, a giant peach is a thing. I'm not really sure what to say about this to be honest. I would imagine it's a furniture item, but yeah, a giant peach exists. Number six, we can likely customize surfboards with different designs. Whether or not these are in fact different items, they are dropped vertically and definitely look the part when placed on a beach. Number seven, we can interact with gym balls. It seems we can head over to a ball and bounce it on the spot by pressing A, just like you would by walking up and playing an instrument item. It's not quite the legendary kickable football, but I'll take it. Number eight, the timer or stopwatch tool is returning to New Horizons. You can see it dropped on the ground here, but typically these items are used for custom mini games with fellow players. For example, how many times can you bounce a ball in 30 seconds? We also know this timer is used in the fishing tourneys in New Horizons. Number nine. It looks as though we can actually place bug and fishing trophies inside cabinets and have them out on display. We saw this a few times in New Leaf, but it seems we have more options with the position of things in the cabinet this time around. Number 10. Bamboo trees look absolutely beautiful in the snow and get a complete covering during the snowy weather. I just hope the bamboo is easier to control on the New Horizons Island and doesn't spread as fast as it did in New Leaf. That stuff was uncontrollable. Number 11. Our breath is visible during the winter months when running around outside. As you can see, as the player comes to a stop, a little puff of air can be seen when the player exhales. It's a pretty amazing attention to detail. We have seen this before in earlier gameplay, but it wasn't as clear as this example. Number 12. The Able Sisters feature a clothing item in their shop window displayed on a mannequin. This item likely changes daily, showcasing some of the cool designs available in the shop. I'm really hoping we'll be able to place our own custom designs there if we want to, much like the mannequins in New Leaf. I think that would be really awesome. Number 13. There appears to be an absolutely huge selection of the same clothing items, but in a wide variety of colors. So when it comes to picking out the best outfit, we can select the perfect color choice without even customizing them. Again, another nice feature. Number 14. We can scroll through hairstyles and different color palettes for our hair color and pretty much try them on without committing to anything. Unlike the days of visiting Shampoodle and hoping we get the hairstyle we wanted and waiting a day to change it back if we got it wrong, we can now pretty much try before we buy. Number 15. Everyday furniture items now have much more interaction with the real world. 
Here we can see a nice example of the wheels turning as the item is pushed along the floor. It's very small details like this that make this game so immersive, I love it. Number 16. We can of course design custom patterns, much like we have been able to in all previous iterations of Animal Crossing, but this time the final product is created with a waifu style smoothering filter, making it much easier on the eye. This makes our designs look much more aesthetically pleasing when placed on furniture items in the game. Number 17. It looks as though we can hold and store a whole bunch of patterns and pro designs just look at that scroll bar, I estimate around 60 patterns of each, which is a huge improvement from past games. This will be super helpful when it comes to laying custom paths and obtaining QR code designs in the future. Number 18. We can now place animated wallpapers on our walls. In this example, we can see fish actually swimming around the edges of the walls. This is literally the best thing ever and opens up so many design opportunities. Imagine having the autumn forest wallpaper with all the trees and having things like leaves falling down and stuff like that. It would just look incredible and I imagine there's so many choices. Number 19. In the same scene, we can see animated flooring and carpets too. If we look closely, we can see the water is actually moving a lot like it does naturally in other Animal Crossing games. Again, this is a bit of a game changer when it comes to interior design. Number 20. If animated flooring isn't enough, we even have little splashes as we walk onto the watery flooring. You can see tiny little splashes and drops of water splashing up as the player steps into the water. I mean, this is beyond crazy attention to detail. Number 21. It looks as though we can now design archways in our homes and decorate the outside edges of doors. This could depend on the type of wallpaper, but either way, it's a whole new level of interior design and something that's never been possible before in Animal Crossing. Number 22. Tawny trophies have had a makeover and now look absolutely amazing. The detail and just the reflective shininess of these items look incredible. You can actually see the lighting bouncing off them and they're just a huge improvement on past trophies. Number 23. You can now place tiny little rugs and doormats anywhere inside our home and even place furniture on top of them. Here is an example of a mini rug in the player's bedroom with a chair on top. Pretty cool item. Number 24. This dream catcher spins by itself with no apparent interaction, which is another amazing example of furniture items appearing more realistic than ever before. Number 25. The little play horse items outside that are already a favorite amongst the community can be customized into a variety of colors and designs. It looks pretty much like every single item in the game is customizable in some way, whether it's by changing up the color scheme or adding custom patterns. It's absolutely mad. Number 26. This commercial shows us pockets with 30 spaces for tools, materials and items. We've seen the default pockets with 20 spaces and even larger pockets with 40, but this is the first for something in between. So this suggests there's at least three pocket sizes available as upgrades during the game. I wonder if there's any more. Number 27. The paths we lay and construct around town actually appear on our island maps. This is really cool and I didn't know I needed it until I saw it. If we look closely, we can actually see the paths on the map that have been laid around the island. How cool is that? Number 28. In the same map, we can actually see this island has five bridges. One, two, three, four, and five. Previously, I believe the limit was three bridges, at least in New Leaf. I'm not sure if they changed it when the Welcome Amiibo update came out or not, but it's awesome to know we can have at least five bridges on our New Horizons Island, and to be honest, with all the terraforming abilities, we're going to need them. Number 29. We have cupcakes, everybody. Stackable cupcakes as seen in this player's pockets. Given these are stackable, it suggests these are items like fruit or other foods previously seen in past games, like candy, for example. I'm hoping this implies some form of cooking, but maybe it's an event item or just a tasty treat for our players that we can buy. Number 30. Finally, we have a great example of fences pretty much flush with the edge of cliffs, which is so cool. I'm so glad they went with the half grid size spacing because it means we can drop things pretty close to other objects, buildings, and features like these cliffs. 
So yeah, that was 30 facts and details taken from the latest Animal Crossing New Horizons commercials. Some of these we've seen before, but others like the splashing of the flooring inside is brand new. The attention to detail in this game is just mind blowing and I could never even have imagined New Horizons was going to be this amazing when it was first announced. And to be honest, I think there's even more mind blowing details to come. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment facts. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include which of these details was your favorite and whether or not you like the idea of paths appearing on our maps. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.